Over 150 million people around the world are already Airbnb users. There's been over half a billion stays, but it's obviously also challenging for landlords to shine above the pack and get renters excited about their property. And Nakul cool, with Hostmaker and James with Host, you guys have both developed platforms that leverage technology, leverage machine learning and, and artificial intelligence to really make a difference in how landlords show up and marrying it really efficiently with renters. So, so James, I want to start with, with you. The hospitality industry is going to, at some point, get their act together and, and evolve their business model to be competitive with platforms uh, like House. How do, you, how do you feel about that? the risk of that competition coming your way? I think something that hotels and, and hospitality companies have not really ever done is partnered with hosts. And that's something we're really proud to do. So we partner with hosts, allowing them to uh, host the property in the way they want to. So a hotel doesn't ever have to do that. Um, and homes are unique in that someone owns it. That's what we enable. We enable that partnership, uh, therefore enabling people to list on these platforms. And that's something hotels and hospitality companies that already exist can't do. If you think about the homes um, industry or the home vacation homes industry, it's a $170 billion business. And this has existed uh, well before hotel industry existed. And that's where we think that uh, this is not about an us versus them. This is about hotel businesses figuring that their skill sets can very much match with what homeowners and guests in homes expect. And James, what sort of uptick in rental revenue or rental utilization can a typical landlord expect to see with your platform? They can expect, uh, versus doing it themselves, about a 30% increase in the amount they, they could earn. And the main reason for that is the dynamic pricing. So we have a, a machine learning algorithm that learns as it goes the price to, to list the property at uh, to make the most money for that host. And it does that in a variety of ways and looking at factors such as the length of the stay, how long until the stay, the seasonality, the night of the week, various factors, and it really works. And there's so many levers there, there to pull in order to price the home right, and you constantly have to be on top of it. Uh, and the principles of this very much, again, come from the airline industry or the hotel industry when you kind of think about in the last several decades, you take it for granted and a given that the airline prices and hotel prices change every few hours or every few days. Whereas uh, the changing rental of a home, that's something new. Uh, but the principle is the same, which is you have an asset or you have a home, homeowners and guests who expect to do different things with their homes. Uh, they seek the flexibility of having short stays or mid stays or one year long stays. And the market for that is very different. And so pricing the home the same for a one year stay and a three night stay doesn't make sense. Do you think there's an opportunity uh, to partner with real estate developers and actually get into the development game, actually own real estate assets, or would you see that as competitive with your landlords? Yes. Uh, one of our lead investors in our previous rounds um, is a multi-billion dollar listed, publicly traded real estate developer from Thailand. We also have several funds and long-term uh, investors who are thinking about how a residential asset could be used very differently in this new world. Uh, and so we are working actively with them in thinking about pricing, user experience, how the future of a home should be designed in order to deliver not just better rental returns, but more importantly, a better stay experience for the tenants or the guests who are staying in there.